for another video blog. Uh, update, FMT update number three now. Yeah, it's been about 23 days since I first began the FMT uh, process from home. Um, on Sunday, I just did my 10th uh, fecal transplant. Um, things are going pretty good, I feel. Um, there was a bit of a one-week um, gap there where it felt like things might have gone a little bit backwards for a bit. Um, it was during a period where I hadn't done uh, any transplants just due to my work commitments. Uh, but at the same time, it was also like there was a couple of days at work where I was really busy and uh, I was on the road and um, I ate a, probably a couple of meals that I shouldn't have eaten. So uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly whether it was, you know, A, me not taking the transplants during that time or B, the food that I'd eaten, or maybe it was a bit of a mixture of both. Um, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing. I was a little bit down for a day or two there. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like during that period, my moods were a bit down as well. Um, besides that, um, so the, the flu-like head cold symptoms, that went, ended up going on and off for about over, just a little bit over two weeks. Um, runny nose, sneezing, head cold, um, yeah, phlegm in the throat and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I definitely got some, um, you know, well kind of um, defined, um, you know, die-off symptoms. Um, you know, a lot of people on the forums, they talk about getting severe die-off. Mine wasn't severe, but you know, it was definitely there. Um, so yeah, I think that's something to expect if you start the FMT process, you normally do become a little bit sick, a little bit unwell during the first couple of weeks or maybe even the first month or so. Um, yeah, besides that, what else has been happening? Um, my aching legs, um, I kind of had a, like a dull, consistent ache, especially in the mornings when I wake up. Um, seems to be worse in the cold weather too. Um, but that got um, worse in the first week of FMT, but it's since gone away. I think it's just the acids leaching out of my body. Um, one interesting thing I noticed was um, when there was the break, the one week where I hadn't done the, um, the transplants was after I'd done my first one after a week break is within one hour I noticed um, I was uh, burping up like acid reflux and I don't really get acid reflux anymore. So, uh, and the very first transplant I did, I noticed the same thing. It's like, it's like the bacteria gets in there and starts digesting and doing its you know, thing and it starts almost releasing all the old acids and stuff. Um, so yeah, that went on for a couple of hours, like me burping out these acids. Um, so yeah, it's pretty potent if you've got the right bacteria in there, like it seems to really do its job, you know, pretty quickly. Um, so what else? So that was that. Um, smell, smells wise, I think it's been good. I played a game of footy on Sunday and there was one guy in the change room who said something, um, you know, about the smell. He goes, ah, oh, I think it's these footy socks, but you know, it's impossible for me to tell. Um, you know, I'm not going to um, try and dwell on something like that too much. I kind of had a little bit of an experience, um, I think it was about a week ago now, where I was um, at the shops and, you know, I, I kind of heard someone talking. I thought, he, you know, he, I turned around and he was pointing at me. Um, and immediately I thought, you know, thought the worst, you know, after all my uh, traumas and bad experiences, people hassling me and all that kind of stuff, I thought, you know, it's probably me. Um, anyhow, so then I left the shops and then two days later I went back to the same shops and, you know, right where I was standing, um, there was a witch's hat there with a, um, like a, a hazard sign saying, be careful, you know, and there was this water dripping, like, um, so that was obviously what he was pointing at, it was exactly where I was standing. So, I mean, you can't get too paranoid, um, you know, I think, you know, you know, it's probable that, you know, at some point a odor could pop its head up. Uh, and come out but um seems like at the moment i think things are all right um i've been going to work and i don't think i've been offending anyone at, you know in the workplace or anything like that um yeah it's, it's still it's not easy i mean it's you know it's it's pretty easy to get stuck with a you know a bad headspace i mean when that happened at footy for a, you know 10 minutes i was like you know your mind's in the gutter and then you got to kind of you know put your head down and try and play it you know, concentrate and play a game of football it's pretty tricky but um yeah i feel like everything's going forward um you know i think maybe that little uh one week where it went backwards a bit i think you know i shouldn't get too disappointed i think uh three weeks is still pretty early i mean i was reading yesterday that a baby's microbiome takes a couple of years to get established and set itself up so 
Um, yeah, it's only been three weeks and um, with the amount of die off and also the fungal infection pushing out my back, I think, yeah, there's enough to say that it's getting in there and it's cleaning out, um, you know, yeast and toxins and whatever else. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully give it a bit more time and it, it should start to work its way up and, you know, hopefully become established up in the right side, up in the small bowel. Um, yeah, one thing I was considering doing was I was considering um, taking a little bit of Nystadin uh, for a week or two, maybe while I did the transplants. I'm not really sure if that's good advice or not um, to be doing that. But it just feels like, um, so doing the fleet enemas, it's going up the colon up the left side. Um, it's obviously doing some work up there, but I still feel like um, I like when after that week where I hadn't ate the best food, um, then a couple of days later when I started eating you know, fruit and veg again, I could feel everything like kind of like um, moving along and you know there's still a bit of um, blockage and activity up in the small bowel so yeah I definitely think you know that's probably where the problem area lies at the moment so I was thinking if I took some nicotine you know that might keep the yeast at bay in that area while the bacteria creeps up the left side and hopefully by the time it gets up at the small bowel it can kind of you know have less yeast to fight off and crowd out and you know it might be an easier job for it to get in there and establish itself um, who knows? It's hard to say, you know. Um, but yeah, it seems like a good idea to me, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, yeah, I'll probably leave it at that and I'll do another video update in about a week, I think. Hopefully, I'll do another couple of transplants before then. I'm back to the work on the weekend. I've actually got quite a lot of work coming up, so it might be a bit more difficult for me to do um, the transplants over the next kind of fortnight. But yeah, I'm sure I'll get in a couple. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted um, Yeah, with another video soon. I hope every, everyone's going well. Uh, yep, and I'll talk soon. Okay, see ya.